Hey, what up, it's your girl Diggy BM, and today's video is weird and odd facts about me, this bitch right here, and I hope you guys like it. Thing number one, uh, I was actually born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, August 4th, 1990, and uh, we lived there until I was about four years old, and uh, I don't know if you guys know who Jeffrey Dahmer is, he's a, um, he was a, um, well, he was a bad, bad man, let's just say. And uh, we actually lived a mile and a half away from him, so that's kind of strange, you know, when he was out doing whatever the hell he was doing, because, let's be honest, he was kind of a creeper. So, yeah, that's a weird fact. Uh, thing number two. I've never been self-conscious of something on my body, but when I was younger, I used to hate, um, my widow's peak. Uh, nobody really had them, and I didn't know what it was, and I just thought I was, like, deformed and everything, so I sh <laughs> I tried shaving it off, and it came back just fuzzy and, like, bushy, and I was like, you know what? Thank God they made bangs just for that kind of situation. <laughs> Thing number three, um... I'll always love Tupac Shakur, but one of my uh, greatest idols in my age was actually Twister. Uh, Twista. Uh, I loved all of his music when I was a little kid, and I would just be like, Oh shit, damn, shawty, look at that motherfucking fatty. Come to daddy, it's what I gotta do, teach you, look at him a custom caddy. He was bomb, like, he rapped fast, and like, he was just like my idol. I was like, oh, this boy, you know, <laughs> whatever. Thing number four, um, I actually broke my collarbone when I was 15 because I was trying to do stunts on a toddler bike, and I was like, they see me rolling, I hate it, and I went to push back on the, br on the, on the, on the pedals, because like, on a, on a bigger person bike, that just makes it go around. Well, on a little kid bike, that means the brakes, so as I'm like, stunting like my daddy, I end up pushing back, all I can remember is that it went black, I flipped over three times, my skirt flew up, and sorry for those poor souls that had their eyes burned out that day when they saw whatever the hell it was that was down there, and yeah, I ended up breaking my collarbone, I was like, oh jeez, I was, I didn't ride a bike for like years, I was too scared, but yeah, uh, thing number five, I have an addiction to red vines. They, uh, they're generic Twizzlers, and, uh, like, I like Twizzlers, but red vines, they're just, they're not the same. They're, like, so much better, and I remember my dad knew that I liked red vines, but he thought they were Twizzlers, and one Christmas he bought me a five-pound box of Twizzlers, and it was good, but I was like, come on, but it's a thought that counts, right? <laughs> um... Thing number six, uh, weird fact, I'm actually double-jointed in my hands. Let me just show you. Okay, my thumb, can't really do it on this one, it's not really that bad, and my fingertips. Weird, I thought that I got it, because I used to play clarinet in high school, and I used to have to, like, hold my thing, but I, yet again, I thought it was deformed, and I was like, what is wrong with me, but no, shit happens, I mutated, meh. Uh, number seven. I am still mad about the MySpace Top 8. Like, um, when I, when I had MySpace, I would go and look at my friends' profiles just to see if I was their top, their top friend, or at least in there. And I was, I was on a couple, but, like, my own best friend, she didn't have me as her top. And I was like, really? This bitch is gonna fuck with me like that? And the only person that had me as their top friend was my mom. <laughs> Jeez, so I'm still pretty mad about that, you guys. Thing number seven, I actually hate corn on the cob, let me just tell you. So when I got my piercings done, I got this side done, and then like seven months later, I got this side done. Well, I uh, was at my brother's house, and his woman had made some corn on the cob, and I was like, I like corn on the cob, slob on my knob, you know? And I took a bite, and the, the piercing that I had was spikes. Like, the, it was a circle with spikes. And I took a bite into it, and the spikes, like, latched into the cob, and it, like, pulled my lip, and it was bleeding, and I had just got it done, like, maybe two or three weeks before. So ever since that, I've been pretty traumatized from corn on the cob. Fuck that shit. <laughs> uh, thing number nine. Um... My favorite two comedians, actually, are uh, Adam Sandler and Kevin Hart. I look up to them. Their stuff is pretty genuine, and I like a lot of old uh, Adam Sandler comedy. No matter how many movies he's done, the one that always sticks out, and when he, he, <laughs> he goes, Stop looking at me, Swan. He doesn't say it like that, but, I mean, he's always been, like, one of my favorites. So, yeah, that's how it happens. Um, the next one is, uh, I actually got kicked out of a Chuck E. Cheese. 
um, because I was really scared of the, the mouse when I was younger. And I lived in, like, a pretty bad part of, uh, of Milwaukee, so, like, there was always, like, creatures and stuff, and I went there, well, okay, like, I didn't get, like, kicked out, but, um, they asked us not to come back, <laughs> cause I, uh, they were doing, like, that show where Mickey Mouse, or not Mickey Mouse, uh, Chuck E. Cheese, and he's like, oh, Chuck E. Cheese, like me, you know, and I got so scared that I ran in the ball pit, and I peed all over, and, oh, it was bad, but, yeah. Well, that's only Milwaukee, and I never go to Milwaukee anymore, so you can kick me out of there. Oh, I don't, I don't care. I do not care. Um, next thing. My biggest idol in my life would have to be uh, Mama Butt Muncher. She was basically a single mother, and, you know, I grew up on welfare when I was younger. You know, obviously we're not in that kind of situation now, but she had two kids, and she did the best that she could with what she had. And not only to my mom, but to single moms out there, like, I know how hard it is. I know how much my mom struggled and the sacrifices she made. So big props to you, you know. And my mom is my idol. She's my biggest supporter, and I could not thank her anymore for that. <laughs> um, one of the last things is... Uh, I love everyone that, you know, supports me and does, you know, just defends me. Like, I could not be more thankful for that. And it really means a lot that you can watch my videos and laugh and be inspired and just have it make your day. So I do appreciate that. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I wasn't going to do this one, but I guess it's going to happen. Uh, last weird fact about me. Uh, this shirt is actually on backwards, let me just tell you. <laughs> Rockin' a new fashion, bitches! <laughs>